Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This tutorial covers reconstruction using videos as input rather than images. A video is a sequence of images, so that can be used in Zephyr 2. Let's see some pros and cons about videos. Guaranteed overlap. Unless you move super fast, you are guaranteed to have a certain overlap between a frame and the next one. This can make easier the capture process. Faster acquisition. It takes much less time to fly a drone or walk around the subject with a camera turned on rather than stopping and shooting. Silent acquisition. The shutter sound can sometimes be a problem when shooting pictures of living creatures, for example a sleeping cat or another pet. For these atypical cases, a video can sometimes be the solution. Lower resolution. Although resolution is not everything, having a very low resolution can be an issue. You can compensate this by shooting the video very close to your subject only up to a certain point. Motion blur. A sharp photo is easy to make, as most of the times all you need is simply a tripod. Moving around may cause your still frames to be very blurred, and this is easy to miss when shooting a video until you see the complete footage. With this in mind, it's easy to understand why in professional 3D scanning, photos are still the preferred media, although lately, with 4K and 8K cameras, this trend is changing a little bit. Go ahead and shoot your own video, download the example in the description below, or try your luck with a random internet video. If you choose this last option, make sure to download videos that legally allow derivative work. From the Zephyr wizard, rather than adding photos, click the Import Pictures from Video button. Browse to the input video file and select the output directory. You can select the output format as PNG or JPEG. Select how many frames per second you'd like to extract, usually one or two is a good choice. You can let Zephyr automatically discard frames that are too much blurred. You can let Zephyr also automatically discard frames that are too similar with each other. Use this slider to increase the available memory for the extraction process, to slightly speed up the process. You can use these two sliders in order to tell Zephyr to keep only the frames within the two specified time frames. Once the frames have been extracted, everything that applies to photos also applies in this case as well. You can then proceed normally down the Zephyr pipeline. Don't forget to use masking if required. Reconstructions from videos are extremely fun, and if your expectations are not too high, even cell phones nowadays can be an appropriate device to acquire datasets. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to join our Facebook group 3D Flow Academy in order to vote for the next tutorial.